Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another episode of Chino's Good Time Gaming for the uh, special um, edition here of uh, my Chino's Exploration Diaries. Man, it's been a couple months. I apologize. Um, real life stuff happening. I've been incredibly busy with with work, but I um, do want to show something. Uh, when I did have the time in the last month, I did manage to reach all the way to Beagle Point. Um, yeah. Where in the world's Polonia? Uh, hang on, let me type it in. Yeah, I made quite the distance here. Just uh, kept on going, took breaks, a uh, lot of nodding off. <laughs> so there's Colonia right there and this is where I'm at I mean I went like I soldiered it all the way through here through all these sectors right here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, visit a uh, tourist beacon that I was told by uh, some buddies that I should check out when I get here and look at that that's like <sighs> That's the galaxy there that are, I guess, showing all the little lights there, all the stars showing closer to the core there. So we're really, like, on the fringes here. So let me uh, go into Super Cruise. Because I took a short break today. I actually, I actually jumped into this system today. <laughs> and then I, I took a short break, just kind of left my ship in space. And, um... Uh, I already, uh, I scanned the whole system and I mapped all the, the bodies in here, so it's just a matter of hitting this um, tourist beacon. I think there's another one as well I want to check out before I, before I pick a moon or whatever that I want to land on for, for the night. And then from there, I will continue my journey all the way to the galactic core and visit, visit the supermassive black hole in Sagittarius A, I believe it is. And from there, um, I, I think I originally planned that I wanted to check the other side, um, the other fringes of um, the galaxy, but I'm actually going to head back into the bubble as um, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on lately. Uh, updates have been dropping, and we're expecting something new to happen in terms of the storyline progression for the game. So I'm a bit excited. I want to get back and I don't know, do some other stuff. Uh, maybe go uh, Thargoid hunting with my buddies, or do some on foot missions and stuff. I haven't done much of that. Been doing a lot of exploring. So we're about to drop onto the Beagle Point Tourist Beacon. I've never been here before, so let's uh, check this out. There it is. <laughs> Look at all these. That is orcas. Beluga, sorry. Blue God, all these passenger liners. Lawless. Cool. All right, uh, let me scan the beacon. I thought it would work with just like a navigation point. I guess not, though. Maybe, uh. Get close. Is it? Hmm. Maybe I don't know what to do. Oh, here we go. Never mind. 
Yeah, I apologize. I mean, like, I haven't played Elite Dangerous in, like, maybe when I last left Dots Exploring, I, I didn't touch it for about six weeks or more, and then I was not really playing Elite after that for a bit. I just was so busy. Uh, Distant World 2 was an ambitious five month expedition to the Far Outer Rim and launched from the. What is that? The Island Ag System in January 3305 and reached its final destination, Beagle Point, in May 3305. The purpose of the expedition was to unravel the mysteries of the galaxy and to construct a star point at Sagittarius A. That's fun. Interesting, that's where I want to go next. This beacon marked marks the final distance world final uh, the final distant world's rendezvous point which was visited by 3747 commanders during the expedition awesome cool so I have that recorded there So, let's get back a super cruise here. I'm gonna visit one more beacon. I believe I saw it here somewhere. Um, where did it go? There it is, Memorial to Z1, this one right here. So some sort of memorial. Check it out real quick. There it is. It's not too far. Yeah, this is the this is the system. Beagle Point. That gives you more information, I guess, um, of what the system represents. I'll read it a little later. What a name for the region, eh? The abyss. It's like it's really dark. I mean, you can't really see that many stars. See, look at look at the look at the background. It's like barely any stars. Maybe, you know what, if I can land on this, I'm going to check, if I can land on that, on that planet, on, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll land there, I'll put it land there after I check this out, if I can, i got to double check that though. Okay. So dark, man, I'm, so, I'm just so used to seeing a lot of stars in the background, it's nothing. Let's check this out. Oh, more tourists. Oh, nice. Tourist beacon data downloaded. Sweet. Memorial to Zai. Zai, the beagle, was the epitome of the phrase man's best friend. Ends his loyal loving. I made sure his commander was cuddled relentlessly after returning from a long journey, whether it was to another system, Nebula Black Hole, or just a local shop. He spent his days dashing around, making friends with anyone who could hear him, who came near him and accompanying Commander Crispy Toast as his official exploring buddy on his adventures through space, often wrapped in a blanket to all commanders who find this beacon. Raise your hand and salute to Zai. I make you run wild and free. Huh. So, it's a little puppy. The beagle. <laughs> cool. Nice. Alright, so... <clears throat> I am here, and no, I cannot land here. Oh wait, 
Yes, I can. I absolutely can. Perfect. I'm going to land there. And there are some fleet carriers that people have, like, crazy. I don't know if I would do that. I don't think I would ever would, but a lot of people have sent their fleet carriers, like, from the bubble, which is, like, around here, all the way over here. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Like, let's say, could you imagine you started in Seoul? And Seoul is what? Look at that, 65,000 light years. If you were to jump your fleet carrier all the way, I mean, like, you'd have to mine tritium, I think, more than once, fill up your cargo hold, whatever, and then keep jumping all the way, refilling your 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 tank all the way. And from what I understand, people take their carriers here to die. That's what I was told. So we have space between moments. I haven't checked if they're active or like you can land on them or not. Nova Prospect. Distant Worlds. Oh, cool. The Fuel Chime. Rip Commander. Consult. <laughs> Rest in peace, console commanders. That is, um, probably shouldn't be laughing about that, but I just find it funny that someone would uh, name it that. Uh, I think a lot of people knows what that means. Yeah. They literally rest in peace. Passengers advise the gymnasium is currently closed to equipment malfunction. Space tourists. Promenade areas are now open. It's a humongous ships, man. <laughs> All right, let's land on this planet right here. To, here it is. Oh, so uh, when I get my next chance in, uh, I will be a more active, um, doing some videos and whatnot of my exploration of my journey back. I will uh, document more. I'll probably do my next video when I reach Sagittarius. Let me land on the light side. Orbital flight engaged. There we go. I thought I saw... Oh, there's a crater. Why don't we go here? Yeah, let's do this. Right into the crater. Yeah, traveling back to the core, though, that's going to take a bit, too. And then I got the journey home. That's a pretty big crater. Wow. A journey it's been to get to Beagle Point. Sweet. Alright. Let's turn around. Easy, easy, easy. Right there. Look at that. That looks flat enough for a, a proper landing there. <sighs> and if I on my way, if I can, I'm going to see if I can do a little more of the um, exobiologist stuff or whatever. Um, finding life forms and whatnot, scanning plants and whatnot. That's what I was doing on my way here. Right here. That looks good. Uh-huh. Uh, 
ease it in. Sometimes it looks like it's nice to land on, but then when you get closer, it's like, no, it's not. Which sucks. How about over here? Okay, so I am going to end this video, and I will see you next time, uh, fellow, fellow space travelers, uh, on my next video as I journey towards the Galactic Tour to uh, visit Sagittarius A. For those of you who tuned in, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care.